Hi YouTube, uh, today we're just going to have a look at the Tesco Huddle once again. We're going to have a little look at the performance of it. Um, first of all, we're going to run Geekbench 3 and see what the stats are on that. Here we can see that it detects it as a 1.61 GHz processor. So Tesco are selling themselves slightly sh short by rounding it down to 1.5 in their advertising. And you can see that it's got 864 megabytes of RAM left from the 1 gig with the operating system installed and running. Okay, so let's run the benchmarks. This should take a couple of minutes. Okay, so there we go. On single core, it scored 493. On multi core, it scored 1390. And just for comparison, on the iPhone 4S, it scored 217 on single core and 413 on multi core. Unfortunately, I haven't got any other Android devices to compare to as this is my first Android device. Okay, so next up is Epic Citadel. This is an environment preview that was originally for Infinity Blade. Unfortunately, I can't seem to find Infinity Blade on the Google Store, so maybe it's just an iOS game now. But this does have a benchmark feature built in. So we can see the state of the graphics. Okay, so what we're going to do now is just run the benchmark that's built into the program. All of this is rendered live. There is nothing pre-rendered in this game. Lots of nice shadow effects, lots of nice lighting and reflections, all being done in real time. So we can see we're averaging around about 30 frames per second. Some nice lighting effects there. Okay, so there we go, benchmark results, averages, frames per second, 35.3, at a resolution of 1440 by 832, and the performance level is high quality. So there we go, hopefully that might give you a little insight into the type of performance that the Tesco Huddle can deliver with its quad-core CPU. So once again, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, Subscribe if you haven't and share this video with everyone you know.